Here we have two circles, the green one and the yellow one. The center of the yellow circle, point O, is laying on the green circle. We also have a triangle ABC here in a way that point A is the point of intersection of those two circles. Also, the segment BC contains the point D, which is also the point of intersection of those two circles. The angle A of triangle ABC is 50 degrees, and we are asked to find the angle C of the triangle ABC. So one thing to note is that when we're dealing with the problems that involve circles, very often we need to have additional geometrical constructions that connect the center of circles with some other points. And this problem is not an exception. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect point O with points A and D. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to denote the angle A or D, this angle, as Y, and this angle B of triangle ABC we're going to denote as Z. Notice that angle Y, angle A or D, uh, has vertex at the center of the yellow circle. Such an angle is called the central angle. The other thing notice that angle ACD, which is angle X, has a vertex on the yellow circle, such an angle called inscribed angle. Also notice that angle Y and angle X, they intersect that yellow circle at the same points, at point A and point D. In such a case, we have what is called inscribed angle theory that says that inscribed angle X should be half of the central angle Y. I have a video where I go into a lot of details about inscribed and central angles and there's a link in the description to this video. The next thing you want to notice is that ABDO is a quadrilateral that is inscribed into the green circle. And there's a theorem, a criteria for inscribed quadrilaterals that says that quadrilateral is inscribed if and only if the sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees. So in our case, it means that angle Y plus Z should give us 180 degrees. And again, there is a link to a video where I described inscribed quadrilaterals in more details. The last thing we need to know that sum of angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. In this case, we're going to look at triangle ABC. So 50 plus Z plus X should give us 180 degrees. Now, if you look here, we find that we have three equations and three unknowns, X, Y, and Z. So we can solve the system and find all the unknowns. In our case, all we care about X, and that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do first, we're going to replace Y in the second equation with 2X. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to subtract this third equation from this fourth equation we got. And if we do, we find that X, it has to be 50 degrees. And that's the final answer.